Hello, this is Jess, and this is uh, day 12, January 12, 2020. Uh, my team lost, Seahawks got defeated today in the playoffs, second round, uh, against Green Bay. It was actually a tight game at the end, score-wise, 23-28, to 28, uh, Green Bay's favor. So Seattle's out of the run now. And earlier in the day, the the uh, Texans uh, got beat by Kansas City Chiefs. So now the Texans are out. So that leaves uh, for the uh, Green Bay Packers playing the 49ers. And that leaves the Titans playing the Kansas City Chiefs. And two of those teams will be going to the Super Bowl. Um, I'm disappointed that my team lost, but it happens. What it do? You just go on and come back next year. It is just a game, but it is football, so it's important. It matters. Uh, I'm pretty tired. It's about uh, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, started early. Started at 6 this morning, as I will be again tomorrow morning, so I'm pretty tired. Um, not a whole lot necessarily to uh, say, um, except one thing that, you know, I heard it again today, I thought we were over the stuff about the war, World War Three, and all this stuff, and uh, now it seems like it's coming back like... All these terrorist groups are starting to say they're going to threaten, or they're threatening, they're not going to say they're threatening the United States with uh, revenge and different stuff on the bombing of one of their top generals in Iran. Uh, he was at Baghdad airport in Iraq or whatever. They were having skirmishes uh, with are the United States troops that are over there in Iraq and so and at the point of war and <clears throat> trying to stop something from happening I I can say I go along with this with the strike that happened but in the scheme of um, our current president I'm not sure if it wasn't some underlying uh, cause and effect thing to uh, get every my, everybody's attention off of his impeachment uh, but I don't have any facts, I don't have any evidence, I'm just speculating. Um, but maybe the kill was necessary, like I said, if they're, if they're attacking United States troops, um, I, as, as an American I have to stand behind that and, uh, you know, go along with what makes it stop. Now at the same time, I have a lot of thought and wonder, you know, why are we over in Iraq or Afghanistan or any of those places anymore? The, all the stuff that had happened in 9-11 and the different things are 10 years back, you know, gone now. Um, and yet we still have troops over, you know, over there. There's, there's nothing going on on our part to worry with anymore. We went and did our military... Uh, re rebuttal to the 9-11 attacks that happened on in New York City and Pennsylvania the terror attacks and so yeah it's been a while back and we still have all these troops over there we're spending all this money and I can go on and on and on I'm going to stop there uh, this is Jess uh, Sunday uh, January 12th have a great evening I'm going to sleep Good night.